<laughs> well, at least I can just defeat the toad. Namaste, my fellow strikers. Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today, we're going to be talking about the new 100 healing jutsu and the Yasaka Beads nerf. But before we get into it, be sure to Shinobi Strike that like button. All right, let's get it. So first, let's start off talking about the Yasaka Beads nerf. So the nerfs are they decrease the ninjutsu's tracking ability, the ninjutsu stops tracking the enemy after a certain amount of time passes, and reduced enemy detection during pursuit. Uh, so the whole nerf is just all about the way it tracks, which I think is a good thing. The tracking on the jutsu was completely broken before, like it was almost impossible to dodge it. It didn't really make sense. I've been seeing a lot of healer mains complaining about the nerf, and I get it, like why nerf healers when attack types are still broken uh, but i think that this is a good nerf like just for the jutsu itself uh, i don't think it ba it helped to balance the game any but it, it's just for the jutsu i think it's a good nerf before this nerf i was actually thinking about changing this taking this off my builds because it does, just doesn't feel good it just didn't feel good to to do well with it like if you kill somebody with it it's like so what there's no way you're gonna miss them uh, especially if you catch somebody off guard they can't <laughs> they can't dodge it anyway and they can't really uh block it or anything so I never like felt good getting kills with it. It was just something that I used when I had to go against other sweats, and it was like you. Could, this was the best healer jutsu, so you just got to use it basically. But the thing is, even with these nerfs, this is still the best healer jutsu. Like, like people are talking about, oh, what should we use now because Yasaka beads got nerfed? It's like no, it's still the best. Like it's just like when Majestic Destroyer Flame got nerfed and they took away the crazy tracking on that it's still the best range type jutsu like even though it got it's not broken anymore it's still the best thing so all they did was just make this jutsu not broken it, like the tracking is still good it's still like way above average tracking on any kind of projectile like it's better tracking than something like fireball jutsu or anything like that so it still tracks well it's just that you can't throw it from halfway across the map and chase down somebody who's running the flag who's halfway back to their flag and then they still get hit with your soccer beads like 20 minutes after you throw it so i think that these nerfs are fine it's still the best jutsu it's still it still uh, can't be guarded you it still breaks sand shield and water pillar it still can't be subbed out of like it, it still protects you from everything including ultimates like all all they did was change the tracking and that was the biggest problem because like the stuff about like not being able to sub it or not being able to block it that didn't the only reason that that mattered was because that you also couldn't dodge it uh, so now that you can dodge it it's just like a normal jutsu but it's still the best healer jutsu like apart from the healing jutsu uh, so yeah people are complaining about it but it's still the best thing that healers have like there's if you were running it before there's no reason to stop running it now just because it's a little bit fair <laughs> it's still it's still like the best thing that healers could do so yeah i think that that was a i think that that was a great nerf i i was thinking because i haven't i hadn't played with it in a while so when i was seeing everybody talking about how unjust it was that the Yasaka beads got nerfed i was thinking like man it must be way worse than i thought it was uh but no it's still fine like you can still hit people easily with it uh and you still and it still tracks like when somebody is close to you it will still come back and hit them and like that was the problem when it first came out was that it didn't do that but now it still does that with the the way it tracks now so yeah yeah this is still the best jutsu outside of the healing jutsu that healers have so it, they just made it fair so now you can dodge it and it's good and I, now i can run it and I, I and i won't feel bad about it anymore <laughs> so so yeah the the yasaka beats nerf is fine uh now the hundred healings buff it man just like zito Bartita said man this is not even a buff like it doesn't even matter that they did this the sakura dlc is still garbage it's still easily the worst dlc in the game and it just i just don't understand how they could release a dlc that's that bad it doesn't make any sense to me uh like so now you can activate it in the air but first of all all those ground pounds should have been able to be activated in the air from the beginning from when they first came out even like crimson drizzle and and uh cherry blossom crash like it didn't make sense that you couldn't do, use those in the air anyway especially when tsunade came out with heavenly foot of pain and that one could be used in the air so i don't understand how the sakura dlc ground pound could not be used in the air in the beginning uh, but even now that you can use it in the air it doesn't matter because it's so slow that by the time you get down to the ground nobody's gonna be where they were anyway Anyway, so it doesn't even really me mean anything that you can use it in the air now it's still useless and like Zito was saying the hitbox is so it's barely any bigger than the ninjutsu ground pounds <laughs> and, and like you don't even get your you don't even get 
uh, your full health as soon as you activate it so you can get killed during the activation and also while you're doing the ground pound you can get knocked out of the animation after you activate it so it, like it doesn't even have like hyper armor like most ultimates have it's so garbage like there's like I, I didn't even realize that you could get knocked out of the animation until just when until I was just using it now because I remember when that DLC first came out I maybe used that out like twice or maybe three times and realized this thing is garbage and it never used it again so yeah it's it was garbage before it's still garbage they need to rework the whole soccer DLC man that that's the worst thing in the game it easily like there's 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 nothing there's no DLC that's even close to that bad and I would say that she's probably she's probably one of the worst VR masters just period not even counting <laughs> counting the non DLC she might be the worst VR master uh, so yeah man they definitely need to do more to make that move better first of all it should heal you instantly that it doesn't make sense that it doesn't heal you instantly uh, it should it should heal your teammates instantly too like it's the it's the it that is the healing jutsu in the game like that's the most <laughs> that's the main healing thing and there are other there are other things that heal people better and things that healing classes have that uh, can heal your teammates better even like it doesn't make any sense right and you should have hyper armor while you're activating it you should get healed instantly so that and you should be invincible while you're, you're activating it so you can't get killed during the activation because that's goofy like why even have that long animation if you're if you're vulnerable during it it doesn't make any sense it should have a way bigger hitbox especially the vertical hitbox like i feel like people can just do a double jump and avoid it like the i don't understand like how the vertical hitbox works at all but the the radius of the of the explosion or the like where the ground gets hit should be way bigger like she she destroyed the whole area when 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 sakura did that in the anime man like i don't understand like how they how they think that this is okay to to make this like that uh so yeah yeah uh, the yasaka beats nerf was fine the buff to 100 healings was basically useless like that sh it should have been able to do that and then izanami also got nerfed uh they should have nerfed it but just making it take longer to get doesn't really mean anything it's still it's still like one of the best alts in the game uh the thing that i think that they need to do is just make it so that it can't pitfall people so make it like just like how when you get hit with Sukuyomi or when you get hit by infinite Sukuyomi, how they just stand in the air. Like when it first came out, you, you couldn't pitfall people with it. They would just get stuck in the air. I don't know why they changed that. Uh, the fact that it's a global jutsu and it can pitfall is just kind of crazy to me. Like feather illusion is fine because you have to be close. You gotta, you kind of have to get into the fray and put yourself in danger to use it. But with Izanami, you could be on the other side of the map and you could pitfall people with it without even really any effort like yeah you have to kind of you have to kind of think about it more than some of the other jutsu but it's not that hard to <laughs> to time it so that you can pitfall the whole team so that's how they should have nerfed it is just made it so that you don't people don't get pitfalling uh, because it already does a whole bunch of stuff so it doesn't it doesn't also need to pitfall people but for real though, I just need to think they need to take pitfalls out of the game in general. Just put water at the bottom of every single map that has pitfalls. Uh, just add some water on there, just like the new cloud map is. It <laughs> just put some water on the bottom of the other cloud map. Put some water at the bottom of the hidden leaf forest. And put some water at the bottom, uh, or put some sand, I guess, at the bottom of the sand village map, because there's there's just no reason to have pitfalls in the game at all. Now that we've seen all these new maps, how they how well they work without pitfalls, like why do any of the maps have pitfalls? Just take them all out. It, that 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 shouldn't be very difficult to do. So I hope they end up doing that in the future. So we don't even have to have the discussion of like what should pitfall and what shouldn't pitfall because there just shouldn't be pitfalls. That's the worst mechanic. Then a whole bunch of stuff would not be cheesy. A whole bunch of stuff wouldn't be broken like wall splats and stuff like that wouldn't matter anymore because you, if you can't pitfall, the wall splats are just like a, a normal mechanic that makes sense kind of. But with the pitfalls also, it's it's, a, it's goofy. Uh, so yeah, overall, I think that this patch kind of like sold healers because the the one buff that healers got was not really anything and then they nerfed two of the best things but those things did need to be nerfed like the itachi dlc was too strong I, I would, i'll say it right now as a healer main i'll say that <laughs> yasaka beats had the tracking was too good it is is still too good even though it, it takes longer to get so that dlc definitely needed to be nerfed but the just the 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 way this whole update happened like it just seems like they kind of sold healers by nerfing healers overall and and 
this is it's a dub that they finally nerfed attack types without giving them any buffs but healers weren't in the same situation as attack types so that's that's why this is kind of like well, why what are they doing uh, I get the nerfs to the Itachi DLC but they could have buffed some other stuff uh, to make up for it so that the healers would still be able to compete with everybody else or especially with the, uh, the attack type class uh, but we'll talk more about the update and all the patch notes uh, more in depth so this was just about the healer section of it so yeah while i agree with the itachi nerfs because that stuff needed to be nerfed overall it's not a good look for the way they did healers this update so i feel when people are saying that healers got done dirty this update because we definitely did uh, but in an individual sense the Yasaka beads needed nerfed for sure and Izanami still needs to be nerfed so yeah let me know what you guys think of this uh of the update when it comes to the healer class and what you want to see buffed and nerfed and how you would rework the Sakura DLC in general like the alt the 100 healings and also the jutsu because they barely get used either uh, so yeah, let me know especially about that. I want to know what, what ideas you guys have for how to rework the soccer DLC because it's, the, it's clearly the worst. Thanks for watching everybody. Oh yeah, and big shout out to uh, BV Nez, Despair, and Push X to Start for helping me get these clips. I'll link all their channels in the description down below and probably in the iCard here if I remember. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Everybody stay safe out there. Peace and love.